Dr. Jampala Chaudhary Garu. Can we request you to please join us on the stage? Thank you, gentlemen. An individual. Now it's time for our guest of honor. An individual who believes in the concept of 3Ds, as Manu Manuji said. Dedication, determination, and discipline. A man who strongly believes in brain active, body fit as the mantra to be activated, reinforced, and practiced uninterruptedly. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to introduce our guest of honor, Dr. Prakasam Tata. to his better half, yes. Srimati Padmavati Tata. Please join us on the stage. She deserves a bigger round of applause to be with him this many years. gentlemen please take a seat before we uh, before I invite our core committee member Sri Sundar Dittagavi to introduce uh, Dr. Tata I request HDGC priest to please come on the stage and do the Asir Vachanam which is an auspicious beginning we do for dignitaries may I invite Mr. Ignesura to please do the Asir Vachanam to Dr. Prakasam Tata, our guest of honor.
చాలా ధన్యవాదాలండి ఐ నవ్ ఇన్వైట్ అవర్ కోర్ కమిటీ ఆర్గనైజర్ శ్రీ సుందర్ దిట్టకవి టు ప్లీజ్ కమ్ అండ్ సే ఫ్యూ వర్డ్స్ అబౌట్ డాక్టర్ ఇంట్రో ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ డాక్టర్ ప్రకాశం తాత టుడే టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ అస్ హీ డస్ హీ డజన్ నీడ్ ఎనీ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ బట్ బట్ దస్ ఆల్వేస్ సంథింగ్ గుడ్ టు టాక్ అబౌట్ హిమ్ Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sundar Ditkavi and I am one of the biggest fans of Dr. Tata Prakasham. It's my immense pleasure to welcome you all on the felicitation function of our Dr. Prakasham Tata Garu, recipient of Ellis Island Medal of Honor for the year 2019. First let me say a few words about the prestigious medal before talking about Dr. Tata's journey towards his passion. Ellis Island Medal of Honor is presented annually to select a group of individuals who have made it their mission to share their wealth of knowledge, indomitable courage, boundless compassion, unique talents and selfless generosity with those less fortunate. The medal has been officially recognized by both houses of Congress as one of the nation's most prestigious awards and is annually, annually memorialized in the congressional record. Since the medal was founded in 1986, Ellis Island Honor Society has honored distinguished and diverse personalities including seven presidents of the United States, Joe Biden, Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, Nobel laureates Ali Wiesel and Malala Yousafzai, Coretta Scott King, Muhammad Ali and Rosa Parks. Here is our exemplary Dr. Tata Prakasham Garu. who was recognized to be one among those great personalities to receive this most prestigious medal all of us from chicago land are very proud of you and congratulate you on your achievement sir we salute for your perpetual service to the needy and underprivileged people in the society we know we all know dr tata's love for environment and his dedication for preserving the nature he has proved it many times through his 64 years of commitment to water conservation and waste management this is not an easy job it needs a compassionate mindset with at least three p's letter p to succeed passion we all know his passion for environment water earth and people there is another p patience he has a lot of patience to listen to people explain them and finally influence them <laughs> perseverance his continuous persistency to march ahead irrespective of whatever hurdles may be and there is another p which is most important padma gar <laughs> his most understanding and supporting life partner as the famous saying behind every successful man there is a woman i am pretty sure without the support from the fourth p padma garu it might it might not have been possible for tata garu to reach to this pinnacle in telugu language tata is pronounced as tata means grandfather though in reality he is a grandfather and a great grandfather does he look like a grandfather no no <laughs> i have no hesitation to say that he is the most dynamic young man among all of us he is an inspiration to the youth to showcase how much they can accomplish and age is not at all a barrier if anyone has a passion to do something he is a role model not only to the current but future generations as well dr tata was born in vijayanagaram in the state of andhra pradesh in india in 1936 he was just 19 at the very young age of 19 he started his phd program in nagpur university india based on an advice from professor frederick erickson he came to usa to pursue his phd in rutgers university in water and waste management predicting that it would be the major challenge of the future not just for india but for the whole world after getting his phd in rutgers teaching at cornell university tata got an invitation from the metropolitan water reclamation district of greater chicago 
to work in its research and development department and another invitation to teach at the Department of Environmental Engineering in the Illinois Institute of Technology in the subjects of water and wastewater treatment, biochemical engineering, etc. He co-authored four books and published more than 150 reports and papers related to environmental engineering and science. Dr. Tata renders humanitarian service for the development of the poor in India and in Illinois through Bharati Tirtha, a non-profit organization that he founded in 2003 in Illinois. He awards scholarships to deserving students in India and contributes to the scholarship fund of the Rotary Club of Naperville. Bharati Tirtha supports other charitable organizations in their charitable pursuits in the US as well as in India. There are lots and lots of projects which we can talk about what he has accomplished, but I am going to mention only few of them. One is the remediation of pollution of a man-made lake in Vijayanagaram, his birthplace. Provision of safe drinking water and hygiene sanitation to a poor village community in Dupada village. Installation of solar lanterns in homes in 44 villages in Madhya Pradesh, India. Installation of smokeless stalls in 8 villages of Madhya Pradesh in India. There are a lot, lot and lot. So, to show his generosity to the world, he donated his ancestral home to Ramakrishna Mission, which can be used as a, as a classical music school. And today, 200 plus students are learning classical dance in that home. I had, I had the fortune of visiting that place. And so, it was really, really, you know, a, a wonderful job he has done. We wish him more, first of all, we wish him good health, he is very good. We wish him more good health, more strength and many more humanitarian projects for the benefit of the poor and underprivileged population of the world. Thank you and all the best, sir. Thank you, Sundar. Now, our dignitaries who are present on the stage will felicitate Dr. Prakash Tata and Srimati Padmavati Tata. May I request Sri Gurusami and Dr. Bhargavi Nettam to please assist our dignitaries in the presentation. Thank you. We begin with Honorable President, Mayor, Village of Oakbrook, Dr. Gopal Lalmanani. later on behalf of their foundations also. 
डॉक्टर जम्पाल चौधरी Ladies and gentlemen, unique talents and selfless generosity. 